The referee, Mr. Mickey Barn. Final instructions, 12 rounds. Okay, fellas, you've both had your, your uh, rules in the dressing room. Don't forget what I told you. Lay my commands at all times. I want no noughties with the head. Shake hands, batty your corners. Good luck. Which way will the story twist next? Up, down, flat. It's totally unpredictable with Michael Gomez, our leading super featherweight, who's now on a roll of seven consecutive stoppage wins. What here? against the tough, tricky-looking Javier Osvaldo Alvarez, who's fought just below the fringes of world class and could make things very interesting indeed. Both are 27, very similar records. Something has got to give. Will it be early? I don't expect it to be early. I wouldn't be surprised if Alvarez allows uh, Gomez the early exchanges, he, he's a boxer, he's boxed there uh, between super featherweight and lightweight throughout his career, so uh, I don't think he'll be troubled at the weight at all, but it wouldn't surprise me if he just boxes behind Gomez for a couple of rounds until some of the sting leaves Gomez's punches. But well, Gomez, he'll want to start fast as usual, and that's what he's doing. Gomez loves to turn up the heat with burning intensity, fast looking left hook, to the body of Alvarez, who may have some speed in his awkward style. The thing with Gomez is that he can go through stale patches. He's got to be right on top of his game, hasn't he? Yeah, well, this fellow has a fairly confident look about him. He looks well-schooled. He's standing right in front of Gomez, just losing little feints and sways to keep his chin out of target. He looks, first impressions, he looks as though he knows what he's doing in there. He's just trying to draw Gomez forward. Gomez looking for the jab. Billy Graham has tried to make him more of a boxer and prolong the career. They've whipped him into shape. But what of Alvarez? Looking compact and solid. How good could he be? Gomez is out working him in the early stages, but he looks to have a good, solid, accurate jab. Hasn't used it uh, too much, Alvarez. But he does have that look uh, of someone who knows what they're doing, competency. Gomez head down, stalking, searching for those uppercuts that can rip home at times. Good defence too. Well, the jab's working for Gomez. So if he can, I know it's not in his nature normally, but if he can get a couple of rounds in the bank using the jab, just to conserve some energy. He's always had such a high octane intensity, Michael Gomez. Is it all about controlling the fire and knowing when to turn it on? It's a good start here from Michael Gomez. Yep, a good controlled start. It's not too often we use that one with Michael Gomez is boxing, but that was a good first round. Keep it moving, keep it working. A very warm welcome back to the MEN here in Manchester, normally home of Ricky Hatton, his stablemate Michael Gomez. Jim, did he make a good start for you? Yep, a nice controlled start. Maybe we didn't see as much head movement as we've seen in the past from Gomez. Maybe he didn't feel the need in the first round. So this fella looks to be well set and accurate. So I think Gomez will have to start moving that head as he moves forward. Here's the second Michael Gomez's WBU Super Featherweight title at stake here. The Manchester fighter in the uh, ever long shorts of uh, white, green and orange and the green boots and it's the red of Javier Alvarez from Chaco in Argentina coming to give Gomez his latest test. It's a good thumping jab that Gomez is throwing. It's been partially blocked but nevertheless 
good power behind us. So that's just breaking the concentration of Alvarez. Right hand from Alvarez over the top, but back to the jab of Gomez. Sensible start from the most uncharacteristic and uh, often bizarre characters. Gomez is forcing the pace, which is the right thing to do. This fella has a, a, a casual look, so you want to force him into some mistakes. Don't allow him to box at his own pace. The jab again working well. Using the technical ability that saw him through 54 amateur bouts. Turned pro so young, but seems such a long time ago. Chapters to the story, ups and downs for Gomez. Where do we go now? Maybe taking a few more counters than I would like to see, but his head still not moving the head, marching straight in, but the jab's working. There's a cut, Jim, on the uh, left eye of Michael Gomez here in the second round. See, Alvarez is picking the counters nicely. He's been out what? Out jabbed. But that was a good, a good left hook. Bang on the chin, but he's taking it well. It's a left hook that won him the British title against Gary Thornhill in this very session. He's got power, Michael Gomez, as he tries to go to the ribs as well. Yep, this is really shaping up well. The styles are mixing perfectly. The right hand, he's been catching too many. Alvarez, very accurate with the right hand, leaves just a short jolting punch. Looking to pop that shot out, the Argentinian. In a bit of needle between these two in the build-up. Always seems to be with Michael Gomez. Needs to get him fired up. You're round, but you better have closed him down. It's quite crispy sharp. But not wild, eh? not wild. Mm. Your jab's working great. And when you get inside, all you stand on the edge of him is too crisp, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah? Feel okay? Yeah. All right, go, go right else there. Billy Graham right? there mm. with the advice, right. Mick Williamson oh, working on the eye. Yeah. yeah, but the jab is working well. Billy Graham was delighted with it. A little bit more head movement in the second half of that round, I'm delighted to see. Because this fellow is very accurate with the counter punches. He's got a good solid jab himself. So uh, Gomez wants to be moving that head as he moves forward. Well, it's been a uh, battle of jabs, which Michael Gomez is winning so far. Uh, four times as many. Here's the third round. Michael Gomez controlled so far, Jim. Right way to go about a job like this. Yeah, definitely, because you're always worried about Michael Gomez putting too much into the early part of a fight and running out of steam. So this is good stuff. The only minus is that nothing that he's done has troubled this fellow in the slightest. Alvarez still looks completely at home and he has inflicted a little bit of damage on Gomez's left eye. Yeah, the dangers with Gomez is that he has run out of puff, stamina, but uh, problems with training often a cause of that. Aslo Bogner and Kevin Lear beat him that way. Well, he's drawing Alvarez into more of a brawl now. This would suit Gomez. It's still that right hand very accurate on the counter. There's the jab again from Michael Gomez. Looking for the uppercut on the inside. Also those big left hooks. And one did register in the second. Should he be aiming for that shot again? Yeah, probably wants to work the body too. No problem getting close to Alvarez, which is good news. I thought Alvarez may have been a little bit cuter. A good left hook from Alvarez, that was solid. See, again, Michael Gomez's head just a little bit too stationary. Uppercuts this time from Alvarez, who has some leaning to the nose. 
intense in there. Well, Gomez forcing but maybe not enough method in his pressure at the moment, just bundling forward, just trying to do it in what rate. He can't do that for 12 rounds. And Alvarez still looking fairly comfortable with the pace. Gomez, who looked so calm against Levac Herakosian last time out, went through a, a real bad patch in the fifth round before he came through. And the right hands are troubling him, and Alvarez really starting to apply the pressure. Is he growing in confidence? Well, I think the slightly better quality punching has come from Alvarez in this round. Gomez still pressing, but not landing quite so cleanly. And we've been too adventurous for my liking. Remember, he did go 11 rounds with Jorge Barrios, Javier Alvarez, and he's starting to put the combinations together. Where's the head movement of Gomez? No, but this is exactly what's lacking. He's taking these punches full on, full blooded shots. He can only do this for so long. And still, Alvarez quite happy to give ground back off. I expected this in the, the early stages, but that was not a good round for Michael Gomez. We're yeah. still fighting a little bit, you know what I mean? So be well, aware after of three rounds, they're working on both eyes of Michael Gomez. A bit of a mess in that corner. Well, he's been caught with full-blooded shots. He's taking chances. He's trying to dictate the pace. But uh, maybe a little, just some more thought into what he's doing. He's a little bit straightforward, a little bit predictable. And Alvarez showing signs he's beginning to solve him out. Still only 27, Michael Gomez, but such a punishing career. When will the wheels fall off, will they, at some point? Or is he on the verge of bigger and better things? He's got a job here with Javier Osvaldo Alvarez. And uh, your impressions have been pretty positive about the Argentinian. Yeah, well, he just looks so comfortable. Even when he's under fire, he doesn't panic. He gets caught with punches. He just gets the hands back up again. He's very well schooled. He's taken some good shots from Gomez, but nothing has troubled him. He looks quite at home. I'd like to see Gomez start to make a dent, and I'm sure Michael would too. He's the jab very effectively in the first couple of rounds. Will he go back to that? That was a little low. Mickey Van saying, keep them up. Alvarez. Blow for blow. Pretty hot in there. Well, this is the kind of fight that Gomez normally enjoys. But uh, still, Alvarez looking completely at home. Accurate counter punches. See why he's built such a big following up. Michael Gomez with those sombreros. I absolutely love his swashbuckling style. Value for money every time. Yep, every time. If the jab's still working, then here we go. I'd just like to see him use it a little bit more. Jab on the way in, open this fellow up. He's walking straight up close to Alvarez and they're just exchanging punches. See, this is where he's getting caught again. His head, too stationary. Attempting to march the Argentinian down, but is he being countered with better combinations? There's the jab again, but the right hand's giving all sorts of trouble. That one's shaking him. Gomez in his spot of bother. Alvarez piling on the punches. Hooks from both sides. Covers up Michael Gomez. Needs to throw something back suddenly. Well, he's managing to bob and weave, not taking the full force of the blows. But he's well out of the fight here. He has to grab, he has to survive. We still have half a minute left. This is a big round for Alvarez. Breathing heavily, Michael Gomez, blood to the nose as well, as the crowd try to rally their hero. But he really is in trouble here in the fourth. He can't keep having wars like this, can he? Salvarez used up a lot of steam there trying to finish things, but now he's picking his punches. These are accurate shots. That was a disastrous round for Michael Gomez. 
a hailstorm. Take that, take that gunshot. Blood from the eyes. Put Look at that out. face. Put your arms down, Mike. And you can see it was a delayed action shot. The punch landed, everything looked okay. Then suddenly you saw Gomez's legs going. Now, Alvarez, a little bit of inexperience here, throwing too many punches when he should have been picking them. But that's good news for Gomez. It allowed him to bob and we duck and dive and survive that onslaught. But you can see he was happy to hold there. But then once the, the action started again, he was on the defensive once again. Can he come back? We've seen him coming back in the past in fights. The fact that Billy Graham has had him in such good shape over the last a year or so, yeah. year and a half, can he come back this time? One as it goes on. It was going to come in burst. One minute. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, are they panicking in that corner? We can survive storms. He's proved that before, Michael Gomez. But he's got a long, long way to go to find his feet again. This is the fifth round, the one that he breathed fire back into his career with that sensational dismantling of Alex Arthur up in Edinburgh against the odds. Now he's got to prove he can come through this little tricky patch too. I think the problem is he's been taking the shots full-blooded on target, not been rolling with them, not been slipping, sledding, more eye damage there. I just wonder, has his head clear? Blood trickles down the left cheek of Michael Gomez, trying to get back into his rhythm. Jab falling short and being picked off at times. That right hand, Alvarez seldom misses with that little chopping right hand lead. Better from Gomez. He's only lost four times, Alvarez, in 36 fights. He's been around and he's been beaten by the best. Is Gomez one of the best or not? Well, Alvarez has just taken his best shot, stood there and come back with more of his own. So problems for Michael Gomez, he cannot bully this fellow. This fellow is mixing with lightweights. And he's feeling looking strong in there. Yep, he's been up at nine stone nine. He seems to have made the weight comfortably at nine four. And look at Gomez being backed up. Not often you see that. Right hand was a corker, and that's really hurt him. Push Michael Gomez back, you take away 80% of what he has. This is a disaster, turning into a complete disaster for Gomez. Billy Graham shouting advice, Bobby Rimmer, the assistant too. Michael Gomez has got to use every bit of energy to get through this. But is this one too many for the Manchester Warrior? Can he come back from this? Alvarez is so controlled, he's picking his shots, he's not wasting any energy here. Gomez, his face is a mess. Things have really turned against him, no signs that he can turn this back round again. He's always had so much spirit and heart and desire, Michael Gomez. He's had to be pulled out a couple of times. He won't want to say no, but is this slipping away? Well, Alvarez taking a little breather himself, I think he's surprised the amounts of clean punches he's got on target, Gomez is still there. When he tabs you, get in close and hold him and rest and hold him. Do you know what I mean? Don't be too honest. Just get in and hold that guy. He's teeing off you from the outside. Another big round for Alvarez. He begins to flag a little bit towards the end of the round, but at this stage he was firing in all cylinders and Gomez was taking it flush. Billy Graham increasingly concerned at the way this is going on. Steady on his feet there, Michael Gomez, as he comes out to battle once more. Another fascinating one. You never get a dull Gomez appearance as he gets back to some positive work. Can he come back yet again? It's almost impossible at times, you'd feel. Well, we just have to ask uh, the previous couple of rounds and how much has it taken out of Alvarez 
He still looks controlled, he still looks fairly strong, but he has dropped the pace, but that's to be expected. Gomez trying to pick things up here. The tough upbringing. Born in Ireland and brought up in children's homes. Trouble on the streets, Gomez. Boxing's turned him around and kept him straight. Well, the job working again for Gomez. Has he made a dent in Alvarez at all? He's forced Alvarez to drop the pace. I think Alvarez is really blowing quite a bit. But no, he still has his composure, still has his wits about him, still looking strong and solid. Gomez, who's had so much success in the first half of fights, does he fade beyond seven or eight? Again, he's been out working Alvarez for the first minute and a half or so, but it's the, the last minute of the round where the damage can be inflicted. We'll see what Gomez, Gomez has left then. Alvarez still looking full in control of his boxing. All right, hand is down, Michael Gomez, in the sixth round. Combination. Looking absolutely disgusted with himself, but very, very tired. Is there any way back? If these were the later stages, you could see Michael gritting his teeth and hanging in there, but you wonder, we're only in the sixth round, not even at the halfway stage, and he's taken full bloodied shots, taking a bang on target. How long can he go on? Mickey Van taking a closer look. Gomez in trouble, tries to throw a left hook counter, but it's all getting too much, and Mickey Van stops the fight. And Michael Gomez loses for the sixth time. The WBU Super Featherweight title is now property of Javier Osvaldo Alvarez. And have the wars finally caught up with this unbelievable character, Michael Gomez. Well, so often in the past we've seen Michael digging deep and coming back from fights. He didn't think it was possible. Referee Mickey Van gave him every chance there, but he's been caught cleanly with solid punches without reply. Had to step in. Feel so sorry for Michael. He didn't show his best form tonight. That may be down to the fact that he was forcing a very, very skilled and competent opponent who was always in control of his own boxing, always strong. Gomez couldn't bully him at any time in the fight. It almost looked like a hard night's work and it was just getting harder with every round that passes as you can see solid that, that was the knockdown Gomez I think as much exhaustion as anything else at this point clear cut accurate punches and no hurry things were going his way so Alvarez just kept doing as he was doing just picking them off here Mickey Van having a good look wondering can he once again come back from the brink but just wasn't there this time, had to step in. 38th fight, worst night for Michael Gomez. Can he come back from this at 27 years of age? It's a very hard ask, isn't it? It is, yeah, I just wonder what, what will be in the... He knows he didn't produce his best form. Maybe if he feels he can do better, he will come back. I don't know. Obviously, that is completely up to Michael. A nightmare here for Michael Gomez. Success for another Argentinian on our shores. A few have come over lately. Javier Osvaldo Alvarez. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 25 seconds of round number six, referee Mr. Mickey Van has called a halt to the contest. In his opinion, Michael Gomez was in no position to continue your winner, and he is the new WBU's super featherweight champion of the world from Chaco in Argentina, Javier Osvaldo Alvarez. Your appreciation, please, for a fine ex-champion from Manchester, the one and only Michael Gomez. <laughs> WBU Commissioner Bobby Rogers will now present the championship belt to the winner, Javier Osvaldo Alvarez. I guess if you're the matchmaker, you line up Alvarez to test Michael Gomez, not to beat him. Manchester has